So, it was requested that we uh, do another video. Uh, in case you want, I am in Wyoming. This is Thursday, October 10th, 2019. Yeah, it's a bit cold, but we're going to run this for a while. I got to fill it up with gas. And yeah, I don't typically put my gas can on top of the generator. That's just to hold it because I got two hands and one phone and you do the math. Alright, well, as you can see, there's no more charcoal canister. Hence I can do that, which is pretty freaking full. Just below the top. I'm gonna get it on there. Tight. Loosen it up a bit. Stick it under there. Yeah. So restart. I had to get my hours hour. It's already warmed up. So we're trying to, uh, you know. But yeah. Check it out, it's cold here in Wyoming. Uh, that's from earlier, and that's frozen on, so. Uh, yeah, at least I got unloaded, so I don't have to worry about my weight with that, all the extra ice. Uh, yeah, so this sucker, I'm gonna plug my things in and then wheel it back out so you guys can uh, see how much my uh, juice I'll be using. Battery charger uses about 3.30 and the block heater for the truck uses about 1,500. So I add those. Uh, yeah. Alright, for all you guys want to do your own APU for your truck, I just have mine strapped in here. I slide it in here. There's wheels on this one. It would be perfect to get a box mount to the frame on the other side, like the tri packs and all that fun stuff, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it. It's cold, it's 20 degrees, it's going to be in 11 tonight. I plug in my block heater, and there I got two jump terminals on the frame. Don't even need to touch my batteries. For this bad boy, uh, I have it on the cold setting. It's an LED. You can't really see it on the video But uh, I have a video of this. I'm either gonna make a new one post that one or edit it But that one's gonna be available soon uh, But yeah It's charging my batteries 26 amps According to Ford, who makes the Ford Crown Victoria, and their idling policies for the police interceptors, one hour of idling is the equivalent to approximately 33 miles. So if you run this 100 hours, if I get stuck here in a snowstorm and I have to run it for 100 hours straight, it's the equivalent of driving 3,300 miles. It's kind of why your oil looks really nasty and black and kind of thick at 100. And I use mine probably more than anyone, or, you know, I'm probably one of the top heavy users of this sucker. So, y'all asked for another video, that's pretty much it. Uh, Alright, stay, stay safe out there. Later.